tangents to a circle. In this video, we are going to focus on two tangents from an external point. You will find this on page 389 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Two tangents from an external point. The point P is a point outside the circle with center O. PA and PB are two tangents drawn from P to touch the circle at A and B respectively. Tangent, tangent. The two tangents from P have some interesting relationship which we will find out through the following investigation. You can click on this QR and then you can watch the investigation. But we are just going to look at the conclusion. Okay. The investigation reveals the following theorem. If two tangents are drawn from an external point to a circle, then the lengths of the tangents are equal. The line joining the external point and the center bisect the angle between the tangents. Okay, so what does it mean? Let's just show you in this picture again. In the diagram, PA and PB are tangents from P. So PA and PB to the circle at A and B respectively. So this will be equal and this will be equal. Okay, and then this angle, which is marked red, will be equal to this angle. So this is a line of symmetry. So this triangle and this triangle will be congruent. Let's look at an example. In the figure, PA and PB are tangents to the circle center O. Given that PA is 6.8 and OA is 4.3, calculate angle OPA. Now, this is very important. If you don't know trigonometry of 90 degree triangles, this will be done in chapter 9. First, leave this example. First, complete chapter 9 in the textbook and then come back to this example. So, angle OPA. So this is my 90 degree triangle. Now how do we do it in trigonometry? From this angle, mark the different sides. So this is opposite, this is adjacent, and this is hypotenuse. So opposite and adjacent. So if I look at, now this is coming out of chapter nine. So it's so, ka, to, a. So if you look opposite and adjacent, so what will that be? That will be tan. So tan of OPA will be OA over PA. Okay, now I just press it on my calculator. Um, this is going to be 4.3 divided 6.8 equals and then tan this. But I think it's better if you just press it like this. You can just press tan, tan, just press tan and then press bracket, and then say 4.3 divide 6.8, close the bracket equals. Okay, and now you are looking for an angle, so shift tan. Okay, let's, let's redo that. So if you want to press this on the calculator, let's rather start with shift tan, because that means I'm telling my calculator to go to an angle, and then the bracket, so let me repeat. First press shift or second function, then press tan because you're looking for an angle, then bracket, and then 4.3 divide 6.8, close the bracket equals, and then you get 32.3. Just make sure your calculator is on D for degrees. Okay, and then the length of OP, again it's Pythagoras theorem that you actually did in grade nine. So it's this square is equal to this square plus this square, just substitute and you get the value. And then the area, um, the area of quadrilater quadrilateral OABP, that's that OABP. Uh, -O -O now, if you work out one, because you have this the 90, so what is the area of a triangle? Half base times height. And how many? They are symmetrical or congruent. That means they will be exactly the same size. So you just multiply it by two. Okay, 
I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 30 number one. Let's start. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. In the figure PA and PB, so PA and PB are tangents to the circle center O. Given that PA is 15 and OA is 7, calculate angle O. Now, just focus, and I'm just going to highlight it for you in this color. Now, let's just go back there. Just working this triangle. Okay, I want actually this angle here. So if I mark it, so this will be opposite. This is opposite. This is going to be, there's my 90. There's my 90. So this is my hypotenuse, and this is my adjacent. Now what two sides are playing the game? Opposite and adjacent. Now so katua, that will be tan. So let's start. I will say tan of that angle, OPA, OPA, uh, angle OPA is equal to, and then that will be opposite 7 over adjacent. And then I will press it on my calculator. Okay, let me repeat. Press shift, press tan, press bracket, press 7, divide 15 close the bracket equals and then angle O P A will be equal to in this case I just want to control and 25 25 did they say to me now many significant 25.0 just make it to one significant oh, to one decimal place angles to one decimal place did they ask me to two decimal places let's just see and calculate, oh, no, they did not ask me. Okay, then I can do one decimal place. Then the length of OP, so I'm just going to go on, number B. So it's going to be OP squared is equal to 15 squared plus 7 squared. So if I'm going to work out that, it's going to be the square root of 274. And if I take, that is OP, don't forget to write OP, as soon as you write the square root, because it's 15 squared plus 7 squared, it's 2, 7, and then I take the square root, and that will be, so OP will be 16.6 centimeters. Okay. And then um, I just want to say, uh, wait, the area of the quadrilateral. Now don't forget, how do you find the area? Uh, area of a triangle, area of triangle AOP. Equals half base times height, so it's half, what is that base, you know, you can take it as 7 and the height, 15, so it's 7 times 15, no, it says 7 times 15, divide with 2, it's 52 point, oh, let's just the pen again, 52.5, that will be only for one. But therefore, the area of uh, quadrilateral um, A, that stands quadrilateral, A, O, B, P, will be two times 52.5 so times two and that's 105 105 
centimeter square. Okay, and that's the final answer.